Hey honey badgers. I have a short little <laughs> kind of silly video to do today because I thought maybe some of you might relate to this. Uh, whether you're a crafter or not, um, maybe you'll <laughs> maybe you'll find some humor in this. If you're like me and you tend to be really detail oriented, maybe painfully so sometimes, and maybe too much in your head, <laughs> uh, I just I just found this kind of funny. This happens sometimes as diamond painters. I think I think a lot of us go through this where. Um, like in the case of this, this was recommended to me uh, in my, you know, Timu recommends when you buy a bunch of, I, I primarily only use Timu for, um, you know, budget canvases. I, I don't, I've bought a couple other things from them, but nothing really that much outside of canvases. It's primarily what I use it for. Um, and so they tend to send me recommendations of, oh, okay, you like that type of canvas. Have you seen this one? Because when Timu first came out, I feel like when they first came out, they maybe only had, I don't know, maybe like 50 or 100 so type of canvases in the diamond painting um, category. I feel like now they probably have close to a thousand, maybe more. Uh, I feel like they're adding to it all the time because it became a really big category for them in the crafting community. So they're always coming out with more and more options as far as uh, kit artwork. And so they send this to me because it is very similar to a lot of things I look at and tend to order. I, I do tend to gravitate towards, um, you know, woodland scenes, forest scenes, Woodland friends, all that kind of cottage core sweet looking stuff, especially when it's like cute little chipmunks and squirrels and stuff like that and bunnies and rabbits. I love all that kind of stuff. So they sent this to me as a recommend. <laughs> and at first I was like, yeah, that is super cute. And then it, I had one of those moments that I think a lot of diamond painters have, especially with the progression of AI art that's come out now. And I personally don't have huge issue with AI art. I'm not one of those people that's like, it's not real art. Um, I think it's just, it's another tool in the toolbox in the art community. I think there are some people that abuse it <laughs> as far as like being a little bit lazy. Um, but I don't think it's really that big a threat as far as like, you know, artists can't find their way with this. Now, I think it's just, there are enough mistakes in it that real artists are still very much needed and appreciated. It's just another tool in the toolbox as the, the you know, the artistic community arsenal, whatever you want to call it. So I don't have big qualms about the, the appearance of AI. I think it's just a natural progression of technology advancement. Anyway, <laughs> getting off topic. What I was getting to with all that is there's a lot of things that come up with it, with AI art now and diamond art uh, canvases where you look at it at first and you're like, oh, that's really cute. And then you start seeing the stuff, you know, we talk about with like the people that have six or eight fingers on their hand or their eyes look a little bit wonky or dead inside or, you know, there's always something that is a telltale sign that it's done by AI and not a actual artist's hand. Um, so we've talked about that in the diamond painting community and it's just sort of like a jokey thing that people have fun with. And then, you know, there's little detail stuff like this and this, this could be AI art. I'm not entirely sure. Some of the AI art is really good and it's really hard to tell. So this one I'm not entirely sure about. I, I have a sneaking suspicion because there are a few details that started coming up when I zoomed in on this. <laughs> that uh, kind of tickled me. So I thought we would just have a little fun with this and look and talk about uh, details when you're looking at canvases. So from a distance, and that is one thing with diamond art we always talk about is that that is one of the kind of key appeals about diamond art is when you look at it close up, it looks a little bit funky, but when you step back, you see all the detail and that is one of the, the charms about it is, you know, when you look at it from a distance, it's like, oh, wow, I didn't see all that when I was like three inches in front of it. Even when you're actually doing the diamond art, you, you kind of go through that. And it always reminds me of that line from, uh, I think it's Clueless. I think that's the movie where she says, oh my God, he's a total Monet. 
uh, which is the same concept, you know, somebody looking really good from a distance and then you get up close and you're like, oh, oh, <laughs> uh, oops, hold on, I went into the wrong window. So I thought I would do a close up on this. So from a distance, adorable, love the hats, everything. And then you close up on it. Am I still on frame? Let me turn this. I forgot I had one of these forward tripods, so I can do this a little bit steadier now. Uh, so when you uh, do a close up on this, I'll, I'll just use the uh, cursor here to go through all these individually because they all have their individual interesting charm. <laughs> so number one guy here, it struck me that he's holding the honey stopper by the wrong end, uh, which is going to be a hellacious mess. As you can see, it's already dripping everywhere, but you know, squirrels, chipmunks, they probably don't care too much, but that right there immediately caught my attention and I was like, oh, uh, it's cute. I don't know if I love this as much now. But then I went on to his friends and then you go into his friends and this starts to look like it, you, it's supposed to be steam, I'm sure, but it starts to look like it's actually dripping out of his nose down into the mug and then out the mug. Is it one of those trick mugs, you know, like you, when you have your friends or family that give you those gag gifts that have like the hole in the bottom of the cup kind of thing. I don't know. Um, but yeah, then the, it, it, it almost looks like, um, oh, uh, God, what it, it's almost like, you know, when you're in the hospital and you have like the feeding tube <laughs> kind of thing going on. I don't know. Um, it's yeah, sorry. <laughs> I, I have a little bit of a background in, um, the medical fields. Sometimes my brain goes there when it probably shouldn't. Um, but that's, that's kind of what it reminds me a little bit of. So there's that guy. And then there's this guy that like, uh, at first glance, nothing's really wrong with him per se, but again, he's got like the wonky damaged mug that looks like it's got a hole in it. It like right here, it almost looks like, <laughs> um, how can I say this uh, without the YouTube sensors going off? This little spout here almost makes this look like uh, one of those. <laughs> what is the safe word I can use? Um, water pipes, I guess you would call them <laughs> safely. I'm sure I can probably get that past the sensor. This looks like a water pipe. Wink, wink. Um, a little bit <laughs> like, you know, when, uh, I don't know that anybody does that anymore. I don't know that I knew anybody growing up back in the day that did it, but you know, the old jokes about people carving out apples and making water pipes out of them. <laughs> oh, it, I'm sure some of you know what the hell I'm talking about, but that's kind of what it looks like. Either way, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it, it still looks like there's a hole in the cup. And then that's making a hellacious mess as well. And then the other thing that I wanted to talk about is if you've seen these, if you're a diamond painter and you, you also have a thing for uh, woodland scenes, winter scenes, all that kind of stuff, which are really popular this time of year naturally, I have a question uh, since we're all shopping on these things. Why is it with all of these images they've come out with this year as far as the winter scenes, why is it always snowing both inside and outside the house? <laughs> I, I can't figure that out. Why, why the artwork keeps doing that? Cause you can see in the background, there are trees back there. So they're clearly on what is supposed to be the inside of the window, but, and it's not just this one. I've seen this on so many pieces of artwork that have done this. I've seen it on Christmas scenes where, you know, they have the Christmas tree and the presents and the fireplace and everything, but there's snow all over the carpet. <laughs> and I'm just wondering about all of these places with the shit insulation. Um, it's, it's got me thinking and fascinated. Anyway, that's, that's all I had for this video. I was just having some fun with the, uh, artwork details and, thought I needed to get this off my chest because like I said, um, I am in my head a lot, sometimes comically so, sometimes painfully so, <laughs> maybe a mix of both. And I thought there's probably plenty of you out there that can relate because, you know, diamond art in general tends to be a very detail oriented craft. 
naturally. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I thought I would share and be a little bit silly today. That's all I have. I hope you all are having a great day and we will talk soon. Bye guys.